everyone welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do a little get ready with me I like to put a little at the start of every video I don't know but yeah we're gonna be doing a, a get ready with me um I just thought I'd do like a little chilled video I wanted to film in my bedroom today just with some lights that I use in my mirror just wanted a little cozy get ready with me I've washed my hair so I will be doing my hair as well and just doing some makeup. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a cute, cozy, chilled video. Because what else is there to do in lockdown? I actually bought this glow tonic for my makeup kit. And I haven't been able to use it because obviously... Corona. Um, <laughs> so I've kind of just put it in my room so I can use it because I don't want it to just go out a day and it's like a full bottle. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be using that. Just realised I have actually put moisturiser on, but we're just going to use it anyway and then re-moisturise. This face halo is still a little bit wet as well. I think I've used it on one client um, when I, I did a makeup lesson, um, obviously before lockdown and everything. And I used it on her, but literally I've not been able to use it on anyone. It's going to moisturise. So, I use the Tropic Skincare at the moment. I mean, I'm still getting breakouts because of masks. It's very annoying, but I am just using this one for, like, daytime. And to kind of get rid of it, to be honest, it's just the Nivea... Rose Care, um, it's very fragrant, but I'm just like, I bought it from work a while ago just because I'd run out of moisturiser and it was like the only one there, so I just, you know, bought that. So I've moisturised, currently eating the last two Percy Pigs. I'm going to put my SPF on. This is just from the Inky List. And it's SPF 30. I've have I have only recently bought this because stupid me didn't actually wear SPF before I bought this. And I've seen a lot of people like raving about how important it is, which it obviously is. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get some. Um I'm don't know which foundation to use. Because it's like, this one's quite expensive and I just don't want to use it up all the time just to sit in the house. And this has got a tiny bit left so I might just use this one. So all of the face brushes I use are peaches and cream. Because they are literally so good. And they're, the set is only like £21 I think. My mum did buy me the set for Christmas, I think, or was it my birthday? One or the other, because my birthday is the month before Christmas. So, yeah, my mum bought me the brushes, but I did send her the link for them, and I think they were only, like, £21. Really good um, value. They're definitely worth it. Like, these are probably the best quality brushes I've ever used. I really wanted to get a Starbucks or a Costa today, but my car keeps playing up, like, the, <laughs> it actually scared me a bit. I was driving, um, and the stoplight came on, like, the actual red stoplight came on my dashboard, and I was like, so obviously I pulled over and I got out the book, the manual for my car, and it basically said, turn the engine off and don't turn it back on and then call your dealership so I was like oh right okay <laughs> so I've like had to just park it up not drive it and then I've got to get someone to look at it because I don't know what's going on this is the NYX HD photo no studio oh God, studio photogenic concealer in the shade fair but I don't know if anyone else is the same. Well, it's mainly girls, I think. 
<laughs> but my tire pressure light on my car has been on for like months now it was actually checked like my boyfriend checked um the tire pressure and he said that like it was fine like the, they weren't even low trust it to happen to me i find this foundation really full coverage like it does cover but because it's so glowy you have to really set your face else I feel like when you're a bit oily it will just slip and slide around your face next i will set usually i do my brows first because of the soap brows but i don't know if i'm going to do much soap brows today i might just like brush them up a bit with the benefit brow gel and i might also use just some of the rimmel stay matte powder just around the perimeters of my face because i need to set it all so what I'll do with this is I'll just pour some of it into the lid and then I usually take like just a small brush like this and just I usually go under my eyes first because they crease really bad if I don't. So where I get most oily is between my eyebrows is I get really oily, my chin, and then I crease under my eyes. And I will just put a little bit on my eyelids. And then I'll just go in with this and just tap that in. I feel like as well, because of the masks and everything now, you do really have to set your face. Usually I don't put this much powder on, but I feel like I need to when... I'm wearing masks I've really been enjoying just like doing my makeup just for doing my makeup off than just Instagram like I think I was getting a bit bored of just doing it for my Instagram and I think because we've got nowhere to go it's kind of that's the only time I can do it I think I'm going with a different bronzer today I'm just gonna go in with this mini hula by benefit bronzer I do really like this bronzer. I do love the Charlotte Tilbury one, but you do need to really build it up to get some pigment. Like, you do get pigment from Benefit straight away, but I feel like sometimes I do just want to build up the bronzer rather than it just be like slapped onto my face. Lovely. And then I've been really loving this blush. This is also out of an advent calendar. This is the NYX Land of Lollies blush in Lollipop Hop. How cute is that? It's just like a really nice pink. It is a matte blush, but the colour is really nice. Lovely. And then for highlight, it doesn't take me long to do like everyday makeup. Like it, I actually do it quite quick. <laughs> Um, and then I'll take the Vive Bijou highlight. I feel like the more I've used this, the more pigmented it's got because I've like done that with my brush. I'm actually doing my brows last today. Makes a change. I feel like that's good though because like, I'm sorry if you can hear that um in the background. So usually, if I'm not doing full on soap brows I usually just brush them with this the end and then I'll just fill them in normally so I'm just using the NYX what's it called micro brow pencil in ash brown and I'll just do the little hairs My brows used to be like the worst part of my makeup routine. I used to hate it. I think that'll do. <laughs> Probably not even. But um, yeah, I'll take the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is just like a clear brow gel, but it like really sets your brows. So now I'm just gonna do some brown tones with the Naked Heat palette. And I'm just gonna use this 
fluffy brush actually I use this one because I've already used it with this palette and I usually just go for like the shades in the day um source I'm going to take which is this one and I'll just lightly buff that in the crease just gives you a bit of definition this palette is like perfect for everyday wear because it's just nice brown tones so yeah I don't really do anything fancy and then I'll just do a little bit under the eye and I don't know if you can tell but that colour really brings out my eyes because it's like a, a burnt orange and that really um, complements blue eyes and then usually I'll just take the ounce, ounce shade <laughs> with my ring finger and just pop that on my inner corner for a little bit of brightness so that's basically all I'll do for eyeshadow if I am going to do eyeshadow what I'll do is use the Morphe Jeffree Star I held my breath <laughs> I am getting used to the smell of this one I didn't like it at first but it's um well it's called starberry but it's it's like a really fake strawberry smell which was like a bit like ooh, when i first used it this one is still my all-time favorite smell i just feel like this really like melts it into your skin now i'm just gonna do some mascara so i have been using the bad girl bang but it's, i think it's running out a little bit i'm gonna use a different one i'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara It's a very thick brush This is like a really void Yeah this one is definitely more void I can't say it Voluminous than lengthening It doesn't give that much length to be honest I think that's why I like the Bad Gal Bang Because that gives you really long eyelashes the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast for my bottom lashes. I used to absolutely love this mascara. And now when I use it, I'm like, why? Because this doesn't really do anything. Like, this is good for lower lashes. But I just don't think it does that much to your top lashes. Anyway, this is where I would stop with the eyes. And then I'm going to my lips. So, I'm going to use the... Uh, MAC cork as usual and I'm using the Vive Vive lipstick this is like best nude and then sometimes I'll add a gloss but today I'm not going to and then I'm just going to go in with the all night out ultra glow spray and the makeup is done so now I'm going to do my hair um, usually, to be honest, I'd let it dry. Like, I don't usually actually blow dry it that often just because it takes a while. Like, my hair is very thick. Um, it takes, like, at least half an hour. Probably a bit less, but it does take a long time to dry my hair fully before I can style it. Sorry, I'm eating another person being but... The perfume I'm going to put on today is the Versace, I don't know the actual name of it, but this is one of those dupe ones, it's from Essence, Essence, I don't know how you say it, but this, oops, sprayed the wrong way, this is literally my favourite perfume, it's amazing, and it's only gone down by that much, so I just use the Lee Stafford hair dryer in rose gold. I don't. I think it adds some type of on the box. It said it adds some type of like moisturising agent that is in it. For washing my hair, I use the Mane and Tail shampoo and conditioner, which doesn't have any um, silicone or anything in it, which is really bad. If you have shampoo and conditioner with silicone in, it actually leaves a layer on your hair. And it makes it look like it's shiny when it's not. 
so this company doesn't have any silicone or anything um they, they actually use this on horses like if you can see there and it's literally because it's obviously got good ingredients and the name mane and tail so this can be used on pets it can be used on human hair obviously but I use the detangler as well because my hair gets really knotty when I've washed it and this is like the best detangler I've used um I did have the got to be one in like a pink bottle and it I used it but like it didn't really do much like it didn't actually detangle my hair like this one you spray it just all over um just let it sit for a bit and then brush it through and this does really like smooth out the knots um so yeah that's the detangler that i use and then i do also have a tangle teaser this is actually grim like let's just take i've got loads of hair in this i did actually see a tiktok as well of somebody opening up one of these and it was all moldy this one probably is because i used to use it in the shower like years ago <laughs> So yeah, I do need a new one because I have had this for years. Um, so I would just use that to brush through the detangler. And then I'll just use a normal brush. This is from B&M, literally. Um, they just do really nice ones with like the gold at the end. Um, I've got this one and the square one. And then I'll just brush through my hair with this one. And what they do say to avoid like pain when brushing your hair, you're supposed to go at the ends first and hold it and then work your way up your hair so it smoothly brushes through. And then when I go to dry my hair, it's not going to be all knotty and not very nice. I have actually been practicing properly blow drying my hair. So as most of you will know, I did makeup and hair at uni. I prefer makeup to hair <laughs> and I'm a lot more skilled in makeup but um, you have to have these brushes in your kit so you have like all different sizes of these to practice the blow drying technique so obviously like I've been doing this and then this thing and <laughs> trying to be like a hairdresser so I'm just gonna do a time lapse obviously because this is really loud and you'll see what I'm doing Got a good heart, first gotta say that, gotta think smart, trying to make moves, breaking my wrist, getting those kills, getting assists, looking at me, getting those deals, yeah I said no, off of 10 pills, 4-1 song, holy shit, but we good, gonna blow up quick. Gonna waste no time, get that I've been featured, now you sit on fire, they wanna see us, and we got no coastline, living by the beaches, I'm gonna take that fine, selling out of me. You like persuasion, we're not Shit, but she don't care, she dope, she thick 4 a.m. got home, take her out to the back Throw a bag for your boy, yeah, he bounce like a toy What do I want, Versace? What do I got, hop on me? Yeah, gotta get a ride home in the X Now she coming first, cause she know that I'm next Gonna waste no time Get that I've been featured Now your shit won't buy I didn't wanna see you Okay, so my hair is partly done It's not fully dry But honestly, it takes me ages to actually dry it all the way through but I do feel like using a brush and drying it properly does really help to like make it quicker because obviously you're closer to the hair like you're pressing down obviously like I don't have it on the high heat I only have it on medium heat because that would literally burn my scalp off <laughs> but um yeah that has helped to do it a little bit quicker my hair is so thick i do partly blow dry it properly and then i'll just like blast around the back and stuff just so it just gets done a little bit lazier so yeah that is my hair done i might do like because usually i do get a bit annoyed with my hair down in the day 
what I'm going to do. Why is there always a shorter piece? I don't know if it's because I have more volume on the one side, but I think what I'm going to do for now is just do a low pony. I'll just take my brush. I'm just going to tie it at the bottom. I am going to have a mark in my hair after this, but I tie my hair up most of the week anyway. <laughs> so that was my get ready with me for today. I do hope you enjoyed just sitting and having a chat, watching me do my hair and makeup, because I really enjoy just filming like really cosy, chill videos like this. Um, I know a lot of people do enjoy watching videos like this so yeah I do really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up because it does really help my channel and subscribe down below I am at 131 subscribers and I'm so thankful for everyone so yeah um, if you do really enjoy it please subscribe and you can turn on my bell notifications if you do want to be notified when I upload I'll see you in the next video bye guys